Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing something a little different because I am going to be at a craft sale in a week and something that's a little more craft sale than Comic Con is wood carving and you may be thinking, Steven, you draw, you draw pictures, what are you doing wood carving? Well, I have news for you, before I drew, I actually was very much into wood carving and I have some, some of my better ones, um, yeah, so this is a carving in the round it's called so it's three-dimensional and you can spin it around put it on your coffee table I'm gonna take you through the process of how I do it today uh, I got a week I want to make maybe two or three let's see how we do it so what I'm doing here is selecting the pieces of bark that I want to use and I'm just looking for fun shapes in the bark and then smoothing out the back and cutting some useless pieces and joining them together with glue and that Captain's Crunch box. That's why it was in the video. There was a purpose. So what I'm going to do next, do some rough marking with some Sharpies and then take the power tools, get that Dremel fired up and just rough in, like move move some bark. Just rough in a shape of the the house so that I can then move to using knives and get some more detail in there. So that's the next phase. But before I get there, I just wanna show you what I did. So here we have a Captain Crunch box that I glued between two pieces. And this one's gonna be kind of very long. This one's a little, gonna, a little more subtle already. So you can kind of see what's gonna happen here because this house used to be like this. Um, it used to be two pieces that had Captain Crunch box in between. Maybe it wasn't Captain Crunch, probably Frosted Flakes, but. And then now it is a house that you cannot tell uh, that it used to be two different pieces. So I will take you through the, the different steps of why there's a cereal box and how do we get it to look like that. So that time lapse was actually a lot longer, but because my phone died, I lost all the footage. So sad. But let me just show you what power carving for about an hour and a half can do. Spoiler alert, it's a lot of damage. So this is what a very rough carve looks like. So essentially I would equate it with like a pencil sketch um, on paper. So basically I'm just like, for, for face carvings, you wanna look at the side profile. Obviously this is not that great because the nose is very flat. This is the best one because I had a lot to work with. Like this is a big chunk of wood. So you can see the nose is poking out, the eye sockets are deep, the mouth is deep. Like I can stick my thumb in there. Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot to work with there. So these obviously they need to get smoothed out. You need to have eyes. There's gotta be detailing wrinkles like, It'll, it'll all come together, but this is just to get the shape. It's to chew through this stuff because this stuff's really hard on the knives. Um, once you get to this nice golden looking um, wood, that's really soft, really easy to work with. This one, I wish I could have kept more of the, the hardwood, but there wasn't a whole lot to begin with. So, whereas these ones, you can see it's in the mustache and the nose. It just makes it more integrating feeling in the mustache here. Um, yeah. So those are the faces. Those are really easy. You can blast through those really quick. Now we get to the puzzle pieces. So these are, um, if you remember me showing before, these are the, the houses in the round. So basically I have to figure out how I, how I can join the two pieces and make it look like a house. So here, this is like a slope roof here. We got a, a pole that that's going to be a post like this, like that post, uh, when we're done. It's obviously a little more squat. Post there, another post there. Chimney that kind of goes down. There you see the woodwork going down. Another post here. This post is gonna like arch over and add to the roof. And then we'll add windows and doors and all that fun stuff. But this is once again, power carving is just the pencil sketch to get the form of the house. That's one. We got a nice chimney going on up here. This is a nice swooping roof line. And that comes up here. We'll have a post with bark on, hopefully, if we can keep that. And then swoops down again. This one is possibly the one I'm most excited for because it's so small and cute. So we got this nice swooping arch here. And then another one here. 
another swooping arch, and then double posts here. I'm thinking the main door will be here, and then we'll have a big window here, and then, oh, oops, um, this is gonna be like a boulder. Then we have one hanging house duo. To me, this is a post here, this nice roof line here, another post here, roof line here, chimney. So it's like basically houses stacked on top of each other. And once again, very rough sketch. So that's what I did in an hour and a half. And eventually, these guys are gonna look like this. The craft sale is tomorrow, and I have not done anything the entire week. So I'm gonna get to work and get some time lapses going and just carve up the storm over here. So let's help. So it. because I don't actually get to this later in the video, I'm just gonna say it now. Uh, the craft sale went well. I sold all of the in the round houses and one of the hanging houses, so that was great. I made a profit, and all this work was worth it. Um, so unfortunately, I have no footage from that, but just know, this was all worth the, the nine hour day. Okay, so this is the first in the round house that I have finished roughing in. And you can see here that we got some windows in place, we got the roof smoothed out, we got um, these pillars that they are uh, now separated from the rest of the house. We got rocks roughed in at the bottom. And you can see I tried to hide the seam here. So you try to hide the seam in windows. Here we have a window there. And this is gonna be a crack between two boulders. And then at the peak of the roof, you got it running there. And then these might be double doors or I might just texture the door with like boards and stuff. So it looks like you get one see the crack there and then again separated with boulders here. Um, so this is, I would classify this in artwork terms as the line art stage. So. Uh, the structure is all there, but none of the pizzazz, none of the fun stuff, like the color or um, the lighting uh, in drawing terms, but really for, for wood carving, that would be like uh, adding framing to the doors and windows and um, texturing the roof and adding uh, boards and texturing the boulders and really uh, turning these pillars from this into something that looks a little bit more like that, where it's got knots and it's a little more, got more personality. Um, and I have a lot to work with these pillars, so I'm very excited to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do uh, some more roughing and get the other um, sketches into a house looking shape. And then I'm gonna split them apart, crack, crack these bad boys open and hollow them out so that when you look through the window, you can see out the other side um, because it's gonna be hollow and it's gonna blow everyone's mind. Uh, so that's the plan and I also got these old men, they're all finished. Um, onto these ones, similarly Let's go. to drawing, you wanna start big and then work small. So with carving, you wanna start with big shapes and then work your way through the details. Okay, so here is house number two. Windows roughed in. There's a nice chimney on this one. I'm excited to carve that one. And then there's the front door. And I'm gonna start splitting apart these houses. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get to it. <laughs> So I have this scraper thing that's actually been sharpened. And so you kind of just take it and you start at the bottom because that is where you have no wood carving. That you... And because there's cardboard there, it can just like kind of smush the cardboard and you just kind of work it in around and boom. There you go. Then you have it separated. And so now what you do is you actually get wet paper towel and you just set it face down in there and then you can peel off Captain Crunch box. And then when you glue it back, it'll be a perfect fit. But before we glue it back, obviously, we hollow it out. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of them. And then I'm gonna put them on the paper towel and then I'll start hollowing them up. It's now nearly seven. And I would say I've been carving for, yeah, around seven hours today, seven or eight hours. And this is what we have so far. So we have uh, this guy, he's pretty much done. I like how the shadows, see like when, if he was hanging on a wall, his eyes would very much be in shadow. Um, his side profile is good. That's something I really look at when I am carving. I need to smooth up that bit of his nose there. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with him. Uh, this one, this, by face wise, this is the face I'm happiest with. Uh, and then we got this fun guy who's kind of having a snooze. He's got his eyes shut. Um, and I glued on that piece there. I just need to carve it. Then we got these ones that have been glued together. So right now the crack is very visible and you can see actually 
I did a poor job of joining that. You can see the, the light through it, but there is a solution to that. You mix glue with dust, like from power carving, and then you can fill the cracks. So I will probably do that. Um, but And there's the mistake I made, blowing it out. But you can see, look at you can see through, because it's all hollow now. This one as well, you can see through a little bit there. Uh, you can see through the window, yeah. Uh, this one has a lot of work yet to do, um, but I prematurely hollowed it out because I was already power carving and I was like, uh, I just wanna hollow it out now. So you can see through that window. And there's this one, um, which you got this big window in here. Uh, I need to scrape off the glue, but I like this one. It's got that, that crazy window stretching all the way through the door. You got another window there. But basically this is what we got. I did the, the crack filling trick and just waiting for the glue to dry. It it works wonders. It's gonna be amazing. You're not gonna be able to notice that I, I didn't join it perfectly, so that's awesome. And now basically the next steps are, if we look over here, doing the boards, doing the window details, and I actually apply shoe polish to them and polish them up. But before I do that, notice how this window here, you can kind of see that it's been joined. There's like a crack. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. It's with super glue and nice little cotton wood, plain down boards. So let's do it. So we're gonna do this window because this one I think is in the most need of some boards and will look the coolest when the boards are in. I have these plain down cottonwood pieces. I have a sanding board here. I have this curing agent that I hope works with these little crazy glues that I bought. Um, actually, my, my dad bought them for me. Um, so we have these little single use crazy glues and I'm gonna basically show you what we do. So there's our window. So we take this piece and right now it doesn't fit. So I think what I'm gonna do here, crisscross, I've never done a crisscross window, that could be cool. Yeah, maybe I'll do a crisscross. So it's a little too big. So you just take it on the board. Okay, so you see how now that kind of sits in there. Pretty nicely, actually. I think I'll do a little bit more, but it's... it's... Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's wedged in. Perfect. So now you take your crazy glue and crazy glue all over my hands. Wonderful. So I take it. So I take it, I dab it on the edges there. Then we take this, we take a little spritz. And it should, yeah, it cures it instantly. So now, thankfully I did not get any of that on my hand because it also superheats it. Actually, I might have got a little bit on my hand because my hand is getting very warm. Do not try this at home, kids. But now, what you do, you take your detailing knife and you score on both sides very gently because, I mean, it's still not super sturdy. You're scoring and you're just scoring both sides. And so you're just going to basically snap it off then. All right. Let's clean it up a bit. Also, I was a little sloppy with my crazy glue there, but you can just clean it off. And there you go. There is one part of the window. So I'm gonna do the other crisscross, which I'll have to do smaller, because it's gonna be glued to the cross piece there, not from end to end. Um, but I will do that, and then I'll show you the final product. There you have it. Once it dries, I'll sand it up a little bit, but there's the X window in the house. And I'm gonna do that now to like all the empty windows. Um, let's hop to it. especially when carving cottonwood bark. I haven't actually talked much about the wood, but cottonwood is very, very soft. As you can see, I'm going in there with a V gouge and it's just, it's just 
peeling like butter. It's amazing. Um, and it also, it holds detail pretty well. Um, and it's just so fun to carve with this two-toned um, wood. You got the hard gray bark um, that has seen the elements. There's stones. There's sometimes even moss in that outside layer. And then on the inside, you got that nice warm um, wood color. And it's just a really fun wood. And you can carve it quite fast because it is so soft and it doesn't put up much resistance against your carving. It's also really, really easy to power carve with the Dremel bits. It just eats right through it, which is fantastic. And I just really like carving with it. It's a great experience. Houses, I find, sell a lot better because people often don't see them, uh, whereas faces are more common. So that's something that was interesting to see again at this craft sale. Uh, people just really like the houses, um, which is good to know for the future. Okay, so this was the last one that I did and I actually glued a chunk of bark as a door with a door handle and I really like how that looks. Uh, added a lot of extra panes in here. Um, but I like this one, it, it's kind of different. It's a little, I, I did this one like two years ago and then I just finished it today. So that was fun. Um, and everything else is done. Um, so now we're into like the, the final bits of rendering, which essentially I'm gonna take my Dremel tool with this little plastic brush and I buff it out because you can see here on these finished ones, you can really just see the grain. And that's from, yeah, taking a buffing wheel, buffing it over. And then I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoe polish them. Um, so they have this kind of dull sheen because you don't wanna varnish them because varnish really stains the wood. Um, but you get a nice a nice shine to it. And then I'm gonna take a like an actual like buffing wheel, like a soft one that's nice and squishy and then polish it up. And then we'll be done. So unfortunately I didn't actually get any footage of myself buffing the carvings, but here's me doing some final touches, hollowing out the chimneys and then using a lighter to make it look like they actually had fire within them. Uh, and that's always a fun part of the process. And now I am just buffing them with some shoe polish and an old paintbrush. And then I take a, a shoe polish brush and yeah, brush them up to get that nice sheen. And without further ado, here's the final product. 